Mike Wilner. You know him, you love him, longtime Blue Jays broadcaster, writer, podcaster. Hey, Mike, happy uh, new year. How, how did you feel when the news came down that they're saying play ball? Yeah, I was I was pretty surprised. You know, if you uh, if you tune in to uh, the latest edition of my podcast, which came out yesterday, uh, really bad timing. I, I was you know, we recorded it Wednesday night, and it looked pretty bleak. Um, it looked like once again the owners had had uh, pulled the football away, Lucy style. Um, and you know they they got so close on Wednesday, but then all of a sudden. They threw the international draft into the mix, and and that sort of blew it up. Um, same way that they added another. Oh, by the way, let's talk about this on February twenty eighth when they got so close after midnight. And I, and I really thought that uh, that we were done uh, until like after Victoria Day, Father's Day, something like that. I would I would have bet a lot on no chance for one hundred and sixty two games. Uh, so I'm I'm very pleased. I'm glad they worked it out. They were so close. And it was such a, a, a little amount to be um, really, really intransigent over. And I'm glad the players made some serious, serious gains because, you know, they, they should. They're getting the raw end and they, they continue to, but it's a little less raw now. Yeah, that's the thing. I'm not anti-union after a lifetime in the broadcasting business. I kind of wish that we'd had one. So I, I get it. Believe me, I, I get it. But before we talk about on-field play, let me just ask you this. Were they cognizant of the damage being done to the sport while this was playing out? Were they hearing what fans and media were saying? Or do, do you really think they care, Mike? I don't think the owners care. I, I, I do think the players do. I don't think the owners do at all. I, I think that so many of these... Um, all of them, right? All of the uh, owners of major sports franchises don't live in the real world. Um, they, they're they in their billionaire bubble. They live uh, a life that has bears no resemblance to the life that any of the rest of us live, the 99.99% who don't have that kind of money. Um, so no, I, I don't think they care. I, I think that they believe... Um, the fans will always come back. Uh, they don't care as long as they're getting their TV money. And you remember, while you know, uh, while during the lockout, over the course of the 99 days, Major League Baseball signed new deals with ESPN and ESPN Plus and Apple TV Plus to broadcast their games. So, uh, no, I, I honestly don't think they care at all. To the on-field play, our poll question today is where do you think the Blue Jays will finish and the majority voting for second place in the American League East? Well, I'm sure you've made a prediction, Mike. What do you what are you thinking? How would you vote on that? I wouldn't vote on that because I'm voting complete right now because nothing's done, right? The, the, uh, the off-season was scuttled on December 1st, so teams are still in their building phases. And I think over the course of the next two weeks, maybe even the next week, there's going to be a crazy amount of trades and free agent signings and teams are going to be completely and wholly reshaped. Uh, The Blue Jays are in very, 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 very good shape. Right now they could use um, a third baseman and they could stand not to have Randall Gritchick being their designated hitter, which is how it shapes up right now. Uh, I wrote uh, an article in the start today talking about the changes that they need to make and the improvements that they still need. There are, there are about four, second, third, DH, and fifth starter, uh, but they're very well positioned to be able to do all the things they want to do. I think that, uh, you know, last year was was just a taste. Um, and we may look at last year and see it as sort of being the 1983 for the people who have memories that long. Um, the They're about to be the springboard. And now that there's another team in the playoffs or, you know, six playoff teams instead of five, there's really no reason to believe that the Blue Jays won't be in the playoffs every year for the foreseeable future. Wow. Well, that's uh, certainly very optimistic. The Jays fans will love hearing that. By the way, I was reading an article this morning at USA Today about what we can expect when baseball does come back when the regular season starts. And one of those is the DH. Now in both leagues, they say Shohei Otani will be the only pitcher batting in Major League Baseball. That'll be a big change for uh, the NL fans to get used to. Yeah, and and I think a welcome change. Maybe, you know, not for some of the older fans. And uh, um, 
Look, it's fun to see a pitcher get a hit. It is. It really is fun to see a pitcher get a hit. It was amazing to see Bartolo Colon hit that home run with six or seven years ago in San Diego. It almost never happens. 90% of pitcher at-bats are useless, a waste of time, and nothing happens. Um, it, pitchers, pitchers coming to the plate, are it, it's they're overmatched. It's terrible. It, it, it's no fun to watch. And, you know, uh, for all the, the uh, bleeding about all the more strategy at the National League, what's the strategy? You walk the eight hitter so you can get to the guy who can't hit and end the inning. You know, um, it, it will be much, much, much better to be able to see nine players in a batting order who actually have a chance. Uh, I'm very, you know, this is a long overdue thing. Absolutely. It's so nice uh, hearing from you, Mike. So nice seeing you. For the Jays fans now and all of Major League Baseball, now that they're back, where can they follow your stuff if they're watching right now? Well, they can find me on Twitter, at Wilnerness. They can find me at the thestar.com and the pages of the Toronto Star. Uh, I never know whether it's .com or .ca, but I think it's .com. Um, and, uh, and, of course, please listen to the podcast. You know, I, I keep finding people who follow me on Twitter who don't know that I have a podcast. We just had our 50th episode. I tweet the hell out of it, and I'm, I feel like too much. I feel like it gets to the point where I'm annoying about it, but I still find so many people who don't know about it. So Deep Left Field, go to your uh, favorite pod catcher and find Deep Left Field. Uh, this week, we had Susan Waldman on, who is the radio voice of the Yankees, and Aaron Abrams, who uh, is in CTV's Children Ruin Everything and, and is a fantastic Jays fan. And, uh, and someday we'll have you on and, and things will be, uh, you know, we'll, our worlds will collide that way. DeepLeftField.com. Well, as you know, in this country, you don't have to look far for hockey podcasts left and right, but for good baseball podcasts, this is where you want to check it out. Mike, again, thanks for the time. Good luck with it. Enjoy the season. We'll be chatting uh, down, the, down the road here. You bet, Rod. Thanks for having me. Blue Jays broadcaster, podcaster, writer, Mike Wilner. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching the RP Show on YouTube. And don't forget, we're live daily on YouTube from noon to 2 Eastern. If you like what you see, hit subscribe. And if you like the program, check around for other segments of the Rod Peterson Show here on YouTube.